Hello there and welcome to this series of videos going through the content of A-level maths. Here we're looking at solving simple parametric equations so we can answer questions from exercise 8D. So what are we going to be doing here? We're going to be taking a parametric curve and we're going to be looking at finding the x and y axis intercepts. Just a reminder that if it's, if it's intersecting any of the coordinates on the x axis then we say that the y coordinate is equal to zero and if it's intersecting any point on the y-axis then we say that the x-coordinate is equal to zero. Why is that? Well any point that's along this line has not moved along the corridor at all so it's only moved up the stairs. If you remember to along the corridor up the stairs um, in first calculating your coordinates and for the um, x-axis one here, it's moved along the corridor, but it's not moved up the stairs by anything, so the y part is equal to zero. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working out this coordinate a and b here, but along the way we're going to have to work out what this a value is, the small a value here, so that we've got some constant in our equations. We've got x equals at squared plus t, and y equals at cubed plus 8. So what we're going to do first is we're going to try and work out what this value of a is, small a. So we need to use the coordinate given, this is the minus 4, 0 coordinate, to help us work out this a value. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking the y equation, setting that equal to 0, and working out what the t value is going to be at that point, then taking that t value and substituting it into the x equation to make sure that it equals minus 4 correctly. So we'll get started on this equation here. And remember, we need to set the y part of this coordinate equal to 0 because it's the, where it intersects the x-axis. Or effectively, you can just take this coordinate here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to um, work out the t value. So we can just divide through by a. We know that a is non-zero, so we know that that is a legitimate move to do. And then take away the 8 onto the other side and cube root. Now remember you can cube root negative numbers because when you um, cube a negative number it gives you a negative number again. So you can cube root negative numbers. So in this case here t is minus 2. What does this correspond to? Well it's the t value of minus 2 that will intersect the, y, the x axis at minus 4. So therefore what we're going to do now is we're going to take the x axis equation and substitute in the value minus 2. And therefore, we also know that the x coordinate is going to be minus 4, so we should be able to work out a. So substitute in all those values and do a bit of simplifying, and we get a is minus a half. Okay, so we knew what the x value was, we knew what the t value was, so we substituted in those values there, 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 and there, and worked out and rearranged to work out that a is minus a half. So that's helped us in our equations. We now know that um, we now know that a is minus half, and what we're looking for are these a coordinates now and this b coordinate here. It's along the y-axis, so it's moved um, up and down the stairs by some amount, but it hasn't moved along the corridor. So the x part of this equation is going to equal zero. What we'll do first is we'll find the t values at which this uh, crosses the y-axis and plug the t values back into y. So the first thing we need to do is use the fact that a is minus half and we know that x is zero because it's somewhere along the y-axis. And now we need to rearrange, do a bit of factorizing and we can solve that t is zero or t is two. Now that we know the t values, we can now plug them into the y coordinate to get the total coordinate. So when t equals 0, the first thing we're going to do is work out that y is minus 4. And when t is 2, we're going to work out that y is minus 8. So the coordinates for a and b are going to equal, um, let's just write this out fully, are going to equal 0 minus 4 and 0 minus 8. Those are the two coordinates that we're looking for in A and B. 
Okay, so there we are. That's how we answer that question then. So if it's along the x or the y axis, set the other axis coordinate equal to zero. You may need to work out the t value first and then use the other equation to work out the value of that um, x coordinate or y coordinate. Okay, let's have a go at another question then. A curve is given parametrically by the equations x equals t squared and y equals 4t. The line y equals, sorry, the line x plus y plus 4 equals 0 meets the curve at a. Find the coordinate a. So in this example, you can replace x and y in terms of t. So into this equation goes t squared and into this equation goes 4t. And then we're going to just solve a, par solve a quadratic equation. So factorise, we get t, minus, t plus 2 squared equals 0. So t is therefore minus 2. And therefore, plugging t equals minus 2 back into the parametric equations, and we're going to get x equals 4 and y equals minus 8. OK, so you can substitute parametric equations into Cartesian equations to help you find intersection points. Alternatively, you could have created a Cartesian equation out of the x and y parametric equations and then solved two simultaneous equations in x and y. But I think this method here in this example is probably a bit easier. Right, OK, next question. Then we have a graph that looks like x equals cos t plus sine t and y equals t minus pi by 6 all squared. Looks like quite a difficult parametric equation here. Uh, find the coordinates where the curve intersects the line y equals pi squared. So that's going to be the y-axis at pi squared. So that's going to be just under 10. Or just over 10? Hmm, that's a tricky question. Um, <clears throat> and find the coordinates of the point A and B where it meets the y-axis. So we're going to have a coordinate here A, a coordinate here B. But at the moment we're looking for when the y-coordinate is going to equal pi squared. And we're going to look for the points on the curve. So we're going to first find the t-values. And then we're going to find the x-values afterwards. So set your y coordinate equal to pi squared, because that's what coordinate is equal to pi squared. Square root both sides, so we get plus or minus pi equals t minus pi by 6. And we get t equals pi by 6 plus or minus pi, so therefore t is equal to minus, pi by, minus 5 pi by 6 or 7 pi by 6. So those are the t values. Now we need to work out the x and y values. Oh, but hold on. This is right. One of the answers is outside the range for t. Um, it's minus 5 pi by 6, but the range only goes up to minus pi by 2. So eliminate that one. So let's just take the 7 pi by 6 one then. So now just substituting into x equals, so it's just substituting t equals 7 pi by 6 into cos x, cos t plus sine t. And doing this on your calculator, you might as well, gives you minus 1, 1 plus root 3 all over 2. So your coordinate is therefore minus 1 plus root 3 all over 2 pi squared. <coughs> OK, so the next thing we're going to do here is now find the coordinates of the points where A and B meet, uh, where the curve meets the y-axis. So we'll have a point A here and a point B down here, or the other way around, it doesn't really matter. So we're looking for the t-values where the x-axis has not moved along the corridor at all, it's only moved up the stairs. So in this case here, x is going to equal 0. And now we're just going to solve this uh, trigonometric equation. So subtract cos t onto the other side, divide through by cos t, and we get tan t equals minus 1. So tan is therefore going to equal minus pi by 4 
or 3 pi by 4, they're both inside the range, so they both count, so we're definitely going to get two intersections. And now plugging these two t values into the y equation, and we get 25 pi over 144, and we get y equals 121 pi over 144. I think that's supposed to be pi squared as well. Okay, so 25 pi squared over 144 and 121 pi squared over 144. So those are your two answers. So you've seen three examples here how when we have to find an intersection on one of the axes, we have to solve one of the equations equal to zero, but then we work out a bunch of t values that we have to then plug into the other equation to actually get the x, y coordinate. So that's how you do these types of questions then. So your turn to answer these two here then. Pause the video and try these two questions out. Right then, so for the first one here, just checking that t is in between pi to 2 pi and making sure that my calculator is in radians mode. So uh, let's get started. So we want to find the um, points at which the following graphs intersect at the x and the y axis. So let's find the y axis intercepts first by setting x equal to 0. So therefore x is equal to 0 is equal to sine 2x or 2t. We'll have to enlarge the range um, of t, 2t up to 4pi. Uh, so to solve this equation we need to work out the intersections of the sine 2t graph with 0. So in this case here we're going to get t is equal to 2pi, 3pi and 4pi. Uh, that's that's the answers for 2t, but the answers for t are going to equal pi, 3 pi by 2, and 2 pi. And then what we need to do is substitute these into the y equation. So in this case here, when um, let's do when t equals pi, uh, cos of pi is minus 1, so minus 2 out of 1 is minus 1. So the first coordinate is going to be uh, 0 minus 1. Not t, not pi, pi is the t value that helps us work out the x and the y coordinate. We already know the x coordinate is 0 and the y coordinate is minus 1. For the next one, 3 pi by 2, um, cos of 3 pi by 2 is 0, so it's just going to be 2 times 0 plus 1 is 1, so we get another coordinate of 0, 1. <coughs> And then when t is 2 pi, cos of 2 pi is positive 1, times by 2 is 2, add 1 and you get 3. So the next coordinate is going to be 0, 3. <coughs> so the next uh, axis intercept will be the y-axis intercept, where we want the y-coordinate to equal 0. So in this case, cos t is going to equal minus a half. We're looking for these solutions in between pi and 2 pi. So in this case, let's do cos inverse of minus 0.5. And we get 2 pi by 3, which is not inside our range. So we'll have to do 2 pi, whoops, 2 pi minus answer. And we're going to get 4 pi by 3. And that's going to be the only solution in this interval. So we've got t equals 4 pi by 3, so now we have to find the x value, so it's going to be sine of 8 pi by 3, and substituting this into your calculator, sine fraction 8 pi divided by 3, we get root 3 over 2. So in this case here the coordinate is going to be root 3 over 2, and we know the y coordinate is 0, so it's going to be 0. So we've got four coordinates that's our answers here. And there we go, that's the final answer to this question then. Okay, for question 9b then, find the coordinates of the points where the ax they meet the x-axis 
and the y-axis. <clears throat> okay, so first of all, looking at the y-axis, we know when it intersects the y-axis, the x-coordinate is going to equal 0, and in this case, t is going to have to equal 1, because ln of 1 is 0, and that's the only t value that, um, that, e that allows x to be 0. So in this case here, it's going to be 1 squared minus 63, so this is going to be, sorry, 60, minus 64, and that's going to be minus 63, that's what I meant. Uh, so the coordinate here is going to be 0 minus 63. And for the x-axis intersections, we know that the y-coordinate is going to equal 0. So in this case here, t is going to equal positive or negative 8. But we know that t has to be positive, so therefore it's only going to equal 8. Now substituting this into here, x is going to equal then ln 8, or to simplify this, 3 ln 2. So the coordinate of the x-axis intercept is going to be 3 ln 2, 0. So these are our two coordinates of the axis intercepts. <clears throat> OK, so there we are. Have a go at plenty of the questions from exercise 8D. Um, make sure that you solve one axis equal to 0, find the t-values and substitute those t-values into the other equation and make sure you get the correct coordinate. That's all you need to do. Um, so thanks very much for watching. Have a go at the um, problem solving questions and the exam style questions and the exercise. Persevere through the difficult ones. Ask your teacher for help if you need any. And thanks very much for watching.